Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda namin for them this season. Kaya naman, samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Benny is a sports science student from UP Diliman and he's an avid runner with a fascination for history, music, and the human body. JL, on the other hand, is an applied physics student at UP Diliman. He likes math and physics the most, but also explores other fields of study. Gerard is a BS Mathematics student also from UP Diliman. He's a member of the UP Flag Football Club. His hobbies right now are playing TFT, watching wrestling shows, and playing basketball. So last but not least, we have Nikki, who is a community development student. She's currently doing her fieldwork in Bulacan with the urban poor women's sector. These four will be competing <laughs> under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. Up next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology from UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Make sure you wait until you're acknowledged by the host before answering otherwise your answers might not be considered. Correct answers are 10 points each, so get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin! Let's begin. Question number one. An FA is a professional who is responsible for ensuring the safety, security, and comfort of passengers on board an airline. What do the letters FA stand for? Nikki. Flight attendant. Flight attendant is correct. K check. Question number two. What term describes a small circular cake, usually with a hole in the middle or a ring shaped vacuum chamber? Benny. Donut. Donut is correct. K check. Question number three. How many days are there in a leap year? Benny. 366. 366 is correct. K check. Question number four. In 2011, Kim Jong un became the leader of which isolationist Asian country? JL. North Korea. North Korea is correct. K check. Question number five. RM and V are short letter names of two members of which music group? Nikki. BTS. BTS is correct. K check. Question number six. In December of 2023, a magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck Jishishan County in Gansu Province in what country? Nikki. Japan. Japan is wrong. Anyone can see it. Benny. China. China is correct. K check. Question number seven. Ormok City is the second most populous city in what Eastern Visayas province? Benny. Leite. Leite is correct. K check. Question number eight. In what sport did outfielder and slugger Babe Ruth, as well as pitcher Sandy Alcantara, play and become famous? Gerard. Baseball. Baseball is correct. K check. Question number nine. In regions of the Philippines, what does the Mi in Mimaropa stand for? JL. Mindoro. Mindoro is correct. K check. Question number 10. In elementary math, what number is 75% of 80? Gerald. 60. 60 is correct. K check. Question number 11. What word may mean to look at? 
as a verb or a small timepiece as a noun? Gerard. Watch. Watch is correct. Okay, check. Here's our last question for this round, number 12. In zoology, what is the name of the eight-legged sea creature that is a common ingredient of takoyaki? Penny. Octopus. Octopus is correct. Okay, check. That ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. After that initial round, we have Benny in the lead with 50 points, followed by Gerard with 30, JL and Nikki tied with 20 points each. Galing silang lahat. Lahat sila nakasagot sa lahat ng questions. At talagang nag-uunahan na makasagot. So now, it's time to get to know our contestants. So si Benny, interesting ang combination of interest mo dahil you said you have a fascination for history, music, and the human body. Can you explain? I like music that, I don't know, but my favorite genres are actually R&B and rap. And um, as for the human body, um, I think that comes with my fascination with sports too and um, making the optimal movements for certain tasks. Pero yung ganong combination, parang tamang-tama para sa quiz show. Yes. Tulad ng K-Check, di ba? Very diverse, Marawa. Very diverse, correct. Ito naman, Atty. Si JN, favorite daw ang math and physics, pero interesado din daw sa other fields of study. Ano itong other fields na ito and bakit? It's just anything that I'm interested in, like for example, music, law, medicine, and among others, I also like to work out. Basta anything na... Magugustuhan ko kapag ginagawa ko. The Renaissance Man. Oo, pero parang kulang ang time para sa'yo. Diba? Low down authority. Parang, oo. Pero pwede rin. Why not? I actually have a student who's a lawyer and a doctor at the same time. So, pwede rin. Why not? Sabi ko nga, wala na siyang ginawa. Sabi ko, anong sinabi ng parents mo nung sinabi mo na I want to be a lawyer naman ako? But anyway, mamaya itutuloy po natin ang kwentuhan natin. Pero kailangan na muna natin Paghandaan ang round 2, susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points rika po na tayo. Benny is leading with 50 points. Followed by Gerard with 30 points. At si JL and Nikki naman ay may 20 points each. Actually, exciting, no? Pag ganyan ka-active ang ating mga contestants. It's always so much fun to watch. But let's get to know our contestants further. Si Gerard naman. You mentioned a current hobby called TFT. Na actually, kanina pa rin tinatanong ni Jules. Ano ba ang TFT? The best I can explain it is, ano siya? It's a strategy game. Online strategy game siya, which you basically compete with seven other players and you move around. It's auto chess, so you have characters, you place them strategically in order to, ano? Auto chess. Naintindihan mo na. Google ko nga may. Google ko. Okay, ito naman, si Nikki. So, how is it working, of course, with the urban poor, particularly yung mga women's sector sa Bulacan? At ano-ano yung mga activities na ginagawa ninyo dyan sa fieldwork? So, as a community development, mostly talaga community organizing, pag-organize ng mga kababaihan doon. So, ang hawak sa uh, Bulacan ay social enterprise. So, hindi lang sila business, samahan din sila ng kababaihan na tumutulong sa komunidad nila. So, more on ganun yung pinapaiting namin yung organization nila at yung business side ng um, organization nila. Yeah, mabuhay ka, Nikki. Abante, babae. Oo. Okay. And now, it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. In Hollywood movies, which actress starred in the 2023 film Leave the World Behind? More than 30 years after she gained fame in Pretty Woman. Benny. <laughs> Nobody remembers Julia Roberts. Iconic ang Pretty Woman, di ba? Question number two. <clears throat> what Tagalog word for the feeling of needing water is the title of the hit song by the rock band, Dilaw? 
Namni Benny. Yes, Benny. Uhaw. Uhaw is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What is the English name of the glossy brown nut that may be roasted and eaten, which the Spaniards call castañas? Benny. Cashews. The answer is incorrect. The correct answer is, and I thought everybody would start ringing the bell. Chestnuts roasting over an open fire. Question number four. What term that includes an old Asian nationality describes twins that are conjoined? The correct answer is Siamese Twins. Question number five. What is the title of the award-winning 2018 film about Freddie Mercury and the rock band Queen? Gerard. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody is the correct answer. Kate Chet. Question number six. In sports, Shohei Otani helped what team win the 2023 World Baseball Classic Championship. Uh, Gerard. Japan. Japan. And with that answer, Gerard now ties with Benny in first place. Japan is the correct answer. K check. Actually, correction. Gerard now leads in first place with that answer. Question number seven. Beyonce once teamed up with Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams to form which very successful musical group? Just when I think these questions will create a mad dash for pressing that buzzer, I am always mistaken. The correct answer is Destiny's Child. Question number eight. Born in Batangas, which Supreme Court Justice was named President of the Second Philippine Republic during World War II? Benny. Jose Laurel. Jose Laurel is the correct answer. K check. Tied na ngayon si Benny at saka si Gerard. Question number nine. In math, what term refers to a letter like X, Y, or alpha that represents a quantity or in astronomy, a description of a star that changes its brightness? Gerard. Variable. Variable is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. What sport is ruled today by grandmasters including China's Deng Liren and the Philippine-born Wesley So. Benny. Chess. Chess is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number 11. What word may describe an archer's weapon, a decorative ribbon, or the bending of the head? Benny. Bow. Bow is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number 12. And the last question for this round. Don Santiago de los Santos was commonly known by what name in Noli Metangel? Don Santiago de los Santos was commonly known as Capitan Tiago. And that's it for our second round. Okay, so after that round, let's do a scores recap. Benny is leading with 110 points, followed by Gerard with 90 points, and si JL and Nikki are tied with 20 points each. Oh, lumabas ka lang ng sandali. Ang laki na ng mga pagbabaga sa scores. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Let's do a points recap. Benny is leading with 110 points, followed by Gerard with 90 points, and si JL and Nikki are tied with 20 points each. Pero siyempre, meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. 
So let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan sa round na ito. Dito sa pagalingan round, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15 point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin. So let's kick off the ultimate pagalingan round with the first question from Prof. Glessy. Dancers utilize dance notation to help them recall their pieces. What do you call this movement notation system which focuses on speed, direction, weight as markers of movement? Letter A, incantation. Letter B, notation. Letter C, laban notation. Letter D, salutation. And letter E, Loxine notation. The correct answer is letter C, Laban notation, invented by Rudolf Laban, Hungarian dancer. Mm. So we really learn something new every day. Prof. Neil. Tanong hinggil sa Philippine geography. In which Philippine province can you find General Santos City? A. North Cotabato B. Maguindanao C. Sarangani D. South Cotabato E. Sambuanga del Norte Benny, C. Sarangani Mali Anyone can steal? Uh, uh, Maguindanao, B. Mali. Nikki. Um, sa South Cotabato. Coronadal ang kabisera ng probinsyang ito. Ang mga grupong Tiboli at Bilaan ay matatagpuan sa probinsyang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, South Cotabato, K-Check. Prof. Marla. In genetics, what is the term for the situation where one gene affects multiple phenotypic traits? A. Pleiotropy B. Epigenetics C. Polygeny D. Polymerase E. Heterozygote Gerard. C. Polygeny Mali Nikki D. Epigenetics Mali Benny. A. Pleiotropy a pleiotropy is correct. K check. Next question. What is the name of the film festival featuring award-winning movies such as Firefly, Gomburza, and Maliari? Letter A, the 2023 Metro Manila Film Festival. Letter B, the 2023 Metro Manila Works Film Festival. Letter C, the 2023 Metro Manila New Films Festival. Letter D, the 2023 Metro Manila Fireworks Festival. And letter E, the 2023 Metropolitan Film Festival. Nikki. A, 2023 Metro Manila Film Festival. The correct answer is letter A, 2023 Metro Manila Film Festival, K-Check. Tangkilikin ang pelikulang Pilipino. Prof. Neil. Tanong para sa kasaysayang Pilipino. Sino ang editor ng La Solidaridad, ang pahayagan ng kilosang propaganda na nagmula sa lalawigan ng Bulacan? A. Galicano Apasible, B. Graciano Lopez Haina, C. Marcelo del Pilar, D. Jose Maria Panganiban, E. Daniel Terona. Benny, C. Marcelo del Pilar. Okay. Mahanay ang tamang sagot sa kabayanihan ni Jose Rizal. Kaya ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Marcelo del Pilar, k -check. Prof. Marla. What is the study of celestial objects, space, and the universe called? A. Biology B. Astronomy C. 
Meteorology, D. Geology, E. Physics. Benny, B. Astronomy. B. Astronomy is correct. K. Check. Back to Prof. Glassy. Okay. The word face refers to mukha in Filipino. What is its equivalent in Cebuano? Letter A, kamot. Letter B, nawong. Letter C, ba-ba. Letter D, dalunggan. And letter E, kasing-kasing. Jian, nawong. B, nawong. The correct answer is letter B, nawong. Okay, check. Masaya ako sa tanong. Sobrang relatable. Kasi... <laughs> Bisayang dako ako, true blooded ah. Bisaya. What about JL? Baka si JL. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. So giveaway question pa. Oh, okay. okay. Prof Neil. So pangatlong tanong mula sa akin, sa anong kagawaran o departamento bahagi ang PRC o Professional Regulation Commission? A. Commission on Higher Education B. Department of Education C. Department of Labor and Employment D. Department of Trade and Industry E. National Economic and Development Authority Z. Department of Labor and Employment So, dole ang sikat na tawag sa kagawaran na ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Department of Labor and Employment Professor Marla where are sea grasses commonly found? A. In deep ocean trenches. B. Along highly polluted coastlines. C. In mangrove forests. D. In shallow coastal waters. E. In polar regions. Benny. D. In shallow coastal waters. D. In shallow coastal waters is correct. K. Check. Maraming salamat. And to yes. start the last round of our ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Glassy. Okay. Where can you find the Raja Sulaiman Theater? Letter A, the CCP Complex. Letter B, Puerta Real Ruins. Letter C, Fort Santiago. Letter D, Luneta. And letter E, Quezon Memorial Circle. J. Santiago, C. Correct answer is letter C, Fort Santiago. K. Check. Prof. Neil. Huling tanong mula sa akin. Alin sa sumusunod ng mga bansa, ang mayorya ng populasyon nito ay hindi napapabilang sa Shia Islam o Shiite Islam? A. Azerbaijan. B. Iran. C. Iraq, D. Lebanon, E. Bahrain. Gerard. Uh, C. Iraq. Mali. Benny. D. Lebanon. Um, ang Hezbollah, isang kilusang political, ay nakabase sa bansang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D. Lebanon, k -check. And last question from... Prof. Marla. What is the function of the capsid in a virus? A. Nucleic acid storage. B. Replication. C. Cell recognition. D. Energy production. E. Protection. Benny. E. Protection. E. Protection is correct. K. Check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations kay Benny, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 275 points. We'll see Benny again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks also to JL, Gerard, and Nikki. Palapakan natin sila for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Thank you so much. I'm Jules Guia. And ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. K -check.